inquiries on helping them with community service and players that may be interested? How can they contact the Atlanta Wildcats? They can email me, Tracy. Uh, they can email me at tracy.atlantawildcats with the S on the end at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Or they can call me at 478-297-7895. Also, check out our website at www.atlantawildcats.com. No doubt. And so I made the announcement as well. It was supposed to be, I was going to make that later, but hey, we're on a good road. This is just a, this is God's calling, and, and I just let everybody know that you know, the Man Cave Show and Simply United Radio would be um, one of the official commentators and broadcasters for the Atlanta Wildcats in the 2017 and 2018 season. And we're going to do big things, Tracy. Sounds good to me. No doubt. We're going to make it happen. So uh, I know you guys play out of Pebblebrook High School. Uh, you know, Pebblebrook has that um, the young boy that's one of the highly rated players in the country, um, young boy, young boy. Um, Colin, and um, how was your experience playing at Pebble Brook, and how was the fan base, and what can people do now to um, start supporting the team? Well, like I said, we're looking to sponsor. If anyone wants to sponsor, give us a call. We do have a sponsorship package. We're not profit so that's automatic takes right off for of them. Um, but we're trying now to put together, we have two tournaments that we're putting together. One of us going to be a $2,500 grand prize and the other one's going to be a $5,000 grand prize. Mm-hmm. And those folks need to be geared towards getting the kids ready for back to school. Nice. Nice. Now, here at Simply United Together as well, I think we should do a collab event. You know, Simply United Together is a nationwide community-based uh, organization um, reaching over 253 cities. So we're going to get a chance to sit down and talk and bring this thing together and let's take over Atlanta. How about that? Sounds like a plan. Let's no make it happen. No doubt. No doubt. No. Tracy, I appreciate the call. Once again, thank you, okay? Okay, you have a great night. You too now. Bye-bye. All right, so y'all never know who's going to call the Man Cave Show. Lord, I appreciate the Atlanta Wildcats and their continued support um, here for the Man Cave Show and Simply United Together and Simply United Radio. And once again, um, that announcement was the Atlanta Wildcats are expanding to Macon and they're looking for a coach. Now, people are asking why me, why I'm not, I am retired. <laughs> I've given seven years of um, my life on that hardwood um, and it was a great experience, uh, but I've moved on to other things. And, um, and yeah, uh, it was a pleasurable experience. Um, I was able to see guys grow, uh, and one of the, one of the things is that um, was interesting is that I start out at a young age, so I was twenty eight, twenty seven, I believe, coaching, um, coaching men close to my age, and I had to learn at first that I can't be the homie, right? I can't be cool. I can be cool, but I can't be like we can't be friends. Uh, so my first year was um, very interesting. Uh, um, I had some. I, I, yeah, I, be, I was. I became a buddy, but I was a coach as well. And I started out as an assistant coach first. I learned, and then I became a head coach. And then once I learned, um, my success came, and it came from discipline and guidance. And one of the guys who was a part of that guidance was. Uh, Coach Payton, William Payton, owner of the Atlanta Wildcats. Uh, he had one of the uh, top-rated AAU programs, uh, Atlanta Select, and then he mer- developed into coaching um, on the level of um, pro basketball. So I got another caller coming in. Let's see who's this. Let's see who's this. You're calling live on Simply United Radio, the Man Cave Show, WSUT. Who's this? Lynette. Lynette. Yes. How you doing, Lynette? How are you? How are you? I'm good. Thank you for calling the Man Cave Show. What 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 brings you in on the show today? Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What 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 are you calling about tonight? I was calling about the cruise for the uh, ah, 2007. Cr- yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Talk to me about the cruise. <laughs> Talk to me about it. Well, I just want to know more about it. I heard about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, 
Now, y'all, you getting ahead of my show. I, I, now, I know I put the word out on social media and everybody be on it. So let me go ahead and let's talk about it then. <laughs> we, oh, okay. We got the, um, so you're talking about the New Year's Eve cruise. Right. No doubt. So look, um, I'm giving away tonight. I'm giving away. I'm going to cover the deposit for the trip um, for New Year's Eve. So it's brought to you by uh, Destination Travel um, with Low, um, and that's going to be the Celebrating New Year's at Sea 2017, and that's going to leave out of uh, on December 28th uh, out of Port Canaveral, Orlando, to Nassau, Bahamas, returning on January 1st, 2018, and that's going to be on the Carnival uh, Liberty. Um, the interior is package is uh, four forty nine per person. The ocean view is four fifty four per person, and the balcony is five sixty four per person. Um, the deposit I'm covering the deposit, and the way I'm doing that tonight is um, I'm going to do my old school song of the day. And if you can guess okay. the song, if you can guess the song, I'm going to pay your deposit for that trip. And that trip um, now the deposit is going to be due. That's going to reserve your spot. Then your final payment will be due by October 30th, 2017. So you got a little time to uh, catch up and still use some of that tax money if you haven't spent all that tax money. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now you can contact. You can contact. Uh, you can contact or email. You can contact at area code 201-406-5298 or email at destination travel dot low at gmail.com, okay? All right, thanks. All right, thank you, Lynette. Have a good night. You too now. Okay. Good evening, good evening. You calling the Man Cave Show, WSUT in Simple United Radio. Who's this? Hey, Coach Sean, what's up? It's Julio. Julio, my man. It's a wildcat takeover tonight. What's up, Julio? Yeah, of course, man, of course. You know we got out here represent. Man, I appreciate you, man. What's going on, man? I, now, uh, in it formally introduce yourself, man. Your position, your name, and all that good stuff, man. Ah, uh, well, you know, my name is Joshua Lucero, uh, for uh, known as Julio. Uh, positions I play, I play the one and the two. I can also play the three, but you know, that's just that's a story for another day. And um, well, you know, I'm a I'm a I'm a Grady baby. Been born and raised in Atlanta all my life. Nah, don't know any of them. No. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 pretty much a low profile for me. No doubt. Now, there's a um, now there's a secret about you that I that I I just found out. Uh, let's tell everybody your affiliation with the Braves too, as well. Oh uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm actually a part of the uh, the most energetic, eccentric, most known, highly caliber. Uh, drumline entertainment group of uh, all baseball, major league, uh, major league baseball teams, and the nation. You know, we're, um, we're with the new move to the uh, to SunTrust Park. It's a uh, it's a whole different ball game, actually. You know, it's a new new place for us, so we gotta reorient ourselves. I actually just got out of an orientation. I would have called sooner, but you know, just got out of it. Nope. And um, yeah, I've been doing this for five years strong. And uh, it's actually a lot of fun, you know. And you know, if if you were trying to hit catch the uh, the inauguration, the opening of the uh, of the stadium, the, the tickets are pretty much sold out. So you kind of missed out on that uh, the opening uh, uh, week. You know, I was gonna hit you up, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're not the only one. Even my phone was like, "Hey, so what's up?" And I was like, yeah, "I'm gonna see what I can do." Uh, man. And, no doubt, man. Nah, no, I appreciate it, man. Um. My man Julio. Now this Julio, this was your first year with the Wildcats, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My first year, and uh, hopefully not my last. No doubt, man. I I first saw Julio. Now the one thing about Julio, man, um, Julio. I, when I saw Julio, I'm, I'm gonna tell the story for real. I was like, who's a Spanish guy out there playing basketball, man? And uh, yeah. I was like, man, he must came with somebody. And I I saw him suit up, and I'm like, okay. And Julio out there, he balled. I said, oh, okay, the man can ball, man. I first met him. And um, that's one thing about the Atlanta Wildcats is diversity. But the man can play ball. He's a point guard. He's heartless on the, he's heartless on the court, fearless on the court, and plays ball. 
And when I commentate, I always who I always tease him and go, Julio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, was t- I was telling all my teammates, man. After today, ain't nobody gonna know what my real name is because of Coach Sean. <laughs> <laughs> my man, man, you gonna be holy over life for me, man. But you're a good dude, and I appreciate you, man. And look, man, keep working hard, keep grinding, um, man. Keep working, stay in the gym, work on you, get your shots up, and um, man, you'll have a, a definite great season next year, man. Yeah, most deaf coach, you know, can't wait to get back into the uh, lab with the the Atlanta Wildcats and the rest of the staff. No doubt. You know, shout out to them, shout out to Coach uh those Coach Payton. No doubt. Uh you know, I've had a lot of mentors in my life and he's gonna be another one of those that, you know, slides up into that category. I'll say that much. No doubt, man. And um now, you know, I asked everybody I've asked everybody, man, who play ball, what was your inspiration um to pick up that ball and go ahead and play ball? You know what, to be honest, it was, um, it all started back in middle school. Mm-hmm. Like, I went I went to a middle school that was none but, you know, Latinos, a lot of African Americans, mm-hmm. and very little, you know, Caucasian folks. Mm-hmm. And it was, I was in a stuck in a, in a moment because of, um, you know, either appreciating my, my heritage or appreciating being with my African American friends. Mm-hmm. And it, and it got to a point where it was like, you know, every time we went, you know, we had PE or we, we had a chance to go, you know, play or something, I would always go play soccer. And, you know, it was, you know, typically that's where I'm supposed to go, right? Right. right. But, um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but then, you know, I started, I started getting, talking to, you know, my, my homeboys and they were like, yo, man, you know, the whole, I respect y'all, you know, all you soccer players, cause, you know, all y'all do is run here and there, he said, but, you know, you ain't got the quickness of the of us basketball players because you know what we do we go up and down you know back and forth and I was like we kind of do the same thing but we we do the same ours is in more longer range you know it's more outside true so then that's what basically that's what that's for me that was like a challenge to me and that's why I was like you know what I took out one day and I went to go you know I went to go you know play a pickup game with him mm-hmm. and that that's when the whole thing you know I was the that you know that white boy can't jump kind of thing. <laughs> I, it, it, it was it was just like you know it was you know deer in the headlights. I don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. All I knew like you know I can't kick it. That, that's all I knew. You know. Mm. And then you know, but then after a while, then I started noticing they were like, you know what? Go watch this. Go watch that. You know, look up MJ. Look at Iverson. Look at Bird. Look, look at all these greats. And after that, that's when they you know kind of took off. Mm. And uh, yeah, my folks, my dad would always be like, you know, you've always been very sporty, and uh, it was kind of, you know, it was kind of hard to get parents who are like ministers involved with, you know, with my life. Mm-hmm. And because my life was like about, hey, I want to go play here, but you know, I got to be over there supporting my parents too. Right, that's real. And yeah, and it took you know, it took my dad a while to realize I'm not going to be in church all my life. Right. And so now it's like a, it's like a, uh, you know what? Go if you want to, you know, that's fine. You know, I don't care. But, you know, remember your relationship with God, this, this, and that, you know, starts preaching to me. You know what, Dad? You ain't got to remind me every time I go practice. <laughs> <laughs> that's real, man. And, yeah, yeah. You know, he jokes it off and all, and, and, but, you know, I, I I know I can say, you know, my I can I have the support of my parents, you know. I, I'll say that much. No doubt. Man, you know what, Julio? It, it ceased to amaze me, man. When I, the more I talk to you, the more I learn, man. And it was a pleasure this season uh, seeing you grow and um, not give up and be persistent uh, with the Atlanta Wildcats, man. And I want to wish you m- much success. And continued success. And I got another caller coming in. Julio, I'll see you next season, man. And we'll stay in touch, brother. Most definitely, Coach. Most definitely. I can't wait to suit up and, you know, get, get, uh, take, you know, take it the whole nine yards. All right. I'll talk to you soon, brother. Yes, sir. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Man Cave Show, Simply United Radio. Who's this? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> How you, you calling live on the Man Cave Show, WSUT, Simply United Radio. Who's this? Oh, Alexia. Hey, Alexia. How you doing? Hello? 
Hello? Can you hear